Right, okay, um, morning. It's um, it's quite early. I wanted to get these um, these rabbits um, dressed and prepped before the kids get up and my wife gets up. They don't mind the meat, but um, they can be a little bit squeamish when they see you chopping heads off and stuff like that. So it gives me a, a, a great opportunity to um, to introduce to the family the Boca Field Butcher. Um, it's funny because my wife had actually said to me, she, I think she's getting jealous um, of my knife collection. And she had mentioned to me that she would like a nice knife for the kitchen. So I did a bit of hunting around and I did a bit of research and I found the Field Butcher. A beautiful knife made by Boca. Um, N. 690 steel. I don't know whether or not we're gonna pick that up. German made. Absolutely stunning. That stone wash. I love it. Absolutely love it. And um my wife likes it as well. Which is which is a bonus. Um but yeah, this is a knife that you can well. Wow. Let's be honest, it's, it's as much at home in the field as it is in the kitchen. It's a real nice, I suppose, transitional blade. I mean, if you're going to spend some good money on a knife, um, you can use this every day. You're in the kitchen every day. You're not in the field every day, are you? It comes in a nice box. Um, comes with a control label and your lifetime warranty slip that... They recommend you fill out if you just want it for display purposes. And obviously the leather sheath that comes, that's not too shabby either. But yeah, let's, can we actually, sorry about that. Yeah, and it's um, what I call real bokeh. It's German bokeh made in the um, Solingen uh, department it's not a magnum it's not a um what they call the Boca plus so it's not from china it's from germany right we've got a couple of bunny rabbits and you you may have seen me prepare these before um a lot of guys will go up the belly but obviously you don't want to slit the stomach lining I don't. It's really quite stinky. It's not, it, it's not nice. So I try and stay away from there. So I tend to go up the back, strip everything off, and then you can see what meat you've got. So first of all, we're just going to take the head off. Don't need that. Stick that in the bin. Take a couple of legs off. Now, you're not going to do this with a namby-pamby blade, obviously. Um, what you're looking at is a bit of weight in that thing. It's four mil thickness as well. So, yeah, she's lovely. Right, this is the different part. So I tend to pinch the back, just slit up there. And then, I'll move that out of the way just in case. Then everything's exposed. All I have to do is get my finger up through there. And then we can pull... Oh, a bit peepee -pee coming out. And we can pull the meat out. And that's it. Pull that out. And there we go. Anyone want a pair of moccasins? A pair? Yeah. I've got a second bunny. Right. So you'll see all of that is the guts and what it's been eating. You'll see the majority of the meat on a bunny rabbit is its back legs and up there, um, what do we call that? I'm trying to think of the term. The saddle. Sorry, I couldn't think then. And there's a tiny little bit of meat up there. There's not much. So 90% of your meat is down here. So if we take that off, There we go. That's a big dot of meat there. Right, shall we uh, take his little tail off? 
Now, rabbit is a fairly um, tough meat. It's incredibly lean, but you find that it's, um, yeah, it's tough. Unless you're gonna slow cook it, I suggest you stick it in a brine, a salt water. So all I'm gonna do is stick that meat over there and that'll help break that meat down. I'll put a little bit, of just some salt flakes in there. So leave that in there a few hours and then what you're gonna find is um, she will, the meat will actually break down. So, I know all of you guys out there, you're gonna be screaming, that's beautiful. Look at all that in there. There we are. Right, so I'm gonna take that there. Move that out of the way. And we've got beautiful, tender, look at that. In that beauty, right. Shall we get all this stuff out of the way? Clean our surface. And uh, do it again. Really don't wanna contaminate the meat. Not that, right, I'm just gonna go get a, a wee cloth. Look, the meat's nice, it's nice and fresh. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get any nasties. Look at that. Right, so that's that. Okay, so the other way, going up the front, avoiding the stomach sap. Well, Bit more. <sighs> you have to excuse my sniffling, guys. I've come down with a wee cold. So I'm trying to get my hand behind the back over the saddle. All right, we're three. Okay. Oh, you can see I'll perforate the stomach there. So, that was not so good. All right, legs off. In the bag. And pull it through now. Yeah, you can see these aren't, these aren't old rabbits. Mum and Dad were nowhere to be seen. Right, okay, good example. You saw with the other rabbit where I actually shot them. Now, some people will go for the head shot, but rabbits, they don't, they don't tend to keep their head still for long. So I tend to take a chest shot um, each time. I'm sure you understand. Right, I'm gonna nip the little giblets off. Go up through here. Right. Take all this off. And then out it all comes. I was tight there. Up to the rib cage. Take all that out. There we go. Other way. You see, well, I actually hit the ribs, and it's um, it's shattered up through it. Right. You see, all of this, all of this is all shattered. So that's oh, nice kidneys. Oh, kid, okay. I think we're going to clean this up. 
Let's have a little kid light. And I think we'll take it a little bit more. I don't want any broken bones sitting inside the flesh. There we go. Just get that last poopy out. Where'd it go? Sort of poke it through. There we go. It's last poop. There we go. Right. So there we have it. I'm going to clean this up. And then wipe it all down. Bye bye. Get it all. Get it all washed. Stick her in the fridge. Cold water. That. Oh. That ice coldy water with the salt in it. And then. I don't know what we'll have. We might have a stew. I think I want to wash that before. Wait there. Give me a second. I'm just going to wash that quickly. Oh, yeah. Right. Coming back. Right, that was sitting there for a few hours in that salt water, and um, I, as you can see, it's a she's a beasty old blade. I love that green micarta on her as well. I'll stick the link at the bottom of the video, and uh, yeah, see what you think. She's lovely and broad, isn't she? Right, guys, all the best. I'll catch you later on. Bye. Oh, yummy.